Hello everyone. Today I'm excited to share with you my University Commons build. Um, as you can see, it's a little choppy. I promise the choppiness stops. I have no idea what happened here. Um, I think my computer started like doing a weird update thing and I don't know. So I left it only so you could see kind of what I did uh, with the build, but I promise you it stops pretty quickly. So I decided to redo the uh, student union um, common area uh, or building in the Sims uh, University pack. And mostly because, you know, their original build can only use University in the base game. And we have so many more cool things in all the packs we've gotten. So I decided to just go ahead and remodel. And, okay, I tore it down. I didn't remodel. I tore it down and started over. Uh, I really like it. Added, like, a pool, a gym, um... And you'll see that coming up. The pool's in there, but you'll see that coming up. Um, and, you know, for me, that's what really, like, a student union um, is, especially in The Sims, because we don't have that many lots in the university world. So I wanted to combine a bunch of things that maybe you would find in separate buildings in a university um, and, you know, put them into one. And I really like what I did with it. I decided, like, the pool and gym and sauna area would go in the basement. And then just kind of worked my way up from there. So right now I'm working on the basement. And my inspiration for this was, like, an old building that maybe this basement area didn't have anything in it. It was maybe just storage or possibly my even like old classrooms. I've been in university buildings where the basement area uh, was used for classrooms at one point. And they decided to go through and remodel it and put in, you know, kind of like a student health center or something. So that's my thought process with this. And... I wanted to not put in a ton of equipment because in my mind, you know, that cost a lot. And my the other thought is, you know, we do have a stadium. And again, in my mind, the stadium is going to have the locker rooms, the sports stuff. The sports teams are going to go work out there. Okay. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but that's what I do. So... I also wanted to put in, like, the cheerleading mats, um, just because I thought they were fun from high school years. And, you know, the weight equipment, the uh, rock climbing wall, um, just thing, different things to kind of create some variety. This pool area, I, I really didn't know exactly what to do with it. Um, I wanted to keep it somewhat simple. And... So I kept the decor very simple in there. Um, it's pretty much your brick uh, around the outside and then, you know, some cute little things on the wall. I didn't want to go really crazy with it. Just because in my mind, again, university pool. It's not, you know, extravagant. Um, same thing with the bathroom locker area with the showers. I I wanted to keep that kind of clean looking. Um, in my mind, you know, there's got, there's a janitor that has to clean all this, so. Then adding some color to the bottom of the pool. I have found I really enjoy using um, tile to create a little bit more of a blue color in the pools, especially when they're inside. I don't know why, but they don't, I don't know, they just don't look as good. I did debate about changing the water to it, but I'm like, you know, it's, again, a university pool. I'm not going to make it all pretty, pretty. So here I had built, intended originally for this to be like a one-story building, and I was going to put a little bit more in the basement. 
and I realized it wasn't going to work. <laughs> so this is where I decided to go ahead and add another story onto the building. And that, of course, made the roofing a little bit more difficult because my bright idea was to add some little, like, outdoor porch spaces on either side of the main part of the building. And I finally figured it out. I really do like how this roof turned out. Um, I play with it, I believe, a little bit more later, but... That's the way it works. And then I also wanted to create this kind of um, blast-in area. Uh, and, you know, something that you could use for a couple different things. It currently is an art room. I worked very hard on designing it. Okay, not really. It's not. I didn't work that hard on it. Um, so, you know, if you tear it down, I, I won't get mad. So the other thing um, I wanted to do was kind of create a space that was like a cozy area um, with like a debate stage uh, that you could just kind of go chill out when it, there wasn't something going on. I'll go listen to the debate. So that's going to come up later. That's what that debate stands for. And... Now that I'm way off from what we're actually looking at, uh, I wanted the upstairs to be kind of like a game, um, a game area, uh, at least this open space here. And it's funny because I'm like, I'm going to do this game area. And then I decide to put in some other rooms that really should be more quiet, but it works. I, I design it well. <laughs> So over here, I just wanted to get like some of the robotic stuff. It's this is kind of your an hobby area, or you know, where you come and get you know your woodworking. Um, I tried to put a cupcake machine in, but yeah, I realized that was silly. And this was before the announcement that we're going to be able to bake cupcakes in the oven. So I'm happy I left it out. But I couldn't quite figure out what to do with this room because I wanted it to have just a little bit of everything that you could go and just do things in that, you know, you can't really do in a dorm or whatever. So that was kind of my thought process with this room. So I believe I ended up with like a woodworking, the um, robotics machines. Uh, I just blanked on the name of that white one in the corner um and i really also wanted to get this um archaeology table in and originally i was going to do this library and have that table in there um but it wasn't working with me so eventually i'm going to move that over into the you know workroom area and then you know i finally figure out what the heck i'm going to do with this library <laughs> Because I I struggled with this one. I love, 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 love how it turned out. But I struggled with it. And you can see here, I'm starting to figure it out. This is kind of the layout I stay with. Um, add in some cute little benches. And just kind of try to create a nice space to study in. And in here, I'm playing around. I'm like, oh, I need study. I need desk. I need computers. And this is about the point I realized I um, still have an open room downstairs that I have nothing to put in. So I'm still thinking, well, maybe I'll do something else with that. Part of me wanted to put in a yoga studio. And I'm just, I'm working on it and I'm trying to get everything in. Okay, leave it alone. <laughs> on to something else. And I will say eventually the computers move. Yep, right here. <laughs> and I put them down and make this kind of like a computer um, and chess room is kind of what this turns into. 
And I will say, I have already actually played in this with my sim that's going to university. And it it's really fun to play in. Um, I I had a lot of fun building it. It took me, I want to say maybe eight hours. Eight hours to do this. It was just crazy. But, and it was over a few days. So if it's a little choppy, I apologize. But this was done over a few days. Um, but it is fun to play in. It works well. Uh, I also redid a dorm. Um, I honestly right now cannot remember if I posted that video or not as of recording this. Um, I've scheduled a few videos because I'm due to start overtime at my, you know, day job soon. And I'm also working on some another YouTube channel. Oh, not quite ready to announce that one yet. But when I, when I do, it is not Sims related. It's um another hobby I like. And I'm hoping that I can do more with. And that's all I'm going to give you for now. So anyway... Back to the uh, build here, I uh, decided to move the debate stage over to this corner. Um, I don't know why. For some reason, mentally, I just kept thinking, I'm going to walk through those doors and I'm going to go to the left to get food. And I couldn't get that out of my head. So I ended up moving all of this around. <laughs> but it, again, it's cute and it works out really well. And then I also decided in here just to kind of, like I said, create kind of a cozy spot um, where your sins can listen to debates. You can um, sit and watch TV. Uh, I intended all along to put in a fireplace here. And if you notice, currently there is no fireplace. I eventually remember this. So some of this does change a little bit. It, the general layout stays the same. I move a couple things. Then I also decided I wanted to add a stage here just to kind of, I don't know, to find the space for the debate stage uh, or the debate area. So I went ahead and added that in. And of course, you know, you have to rebuild everything when you add in uh, platforms for some reason, or at least I always do. But again, it turned out really, really cool. I, I like that little area. And, like, there's always debates going on there. There's always, yeah, a bunch of fun things. Um, Of course, I will say I do have, like, a mod. And I'm not sure if it's the mod or if I just haven't played University in forever and forgot all the stuff that they do. Um, I do know that when I played University... I can't even say when it first came out because I actually did not start playing The Sims uh, 4 until after that. Um, life happens. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, so, I, you know, eventually I came back, of course. And But when I started playing, I don't think I had my Sims do anything. Like, they studied. They got great grades. We went on. Um, so part of the reason that I'm taking so much time to build these areas for university is because I am working on kind of building, like, a sim that I'm going to use for multiple gameplay. Not necessarily anything I'll do on the channel, but just for myself at this point. Um, I mean, that might change in the future. I'm not ruling that out. I've done gameplay videos. Um, I think I took them all down because really they're, they're not very good. My computer is not the greatest, so it really doesn't handle streaming well. Oh. But if this channel starts to take off enough and that becomes an option for me to upgrade and take the time needed to do that i might i won't rule it out i am one of the older sims players i'm i'm gonna not gonna age myself completely but i'm not young okay <laughs> but depending on your your uh view of old and young but we'll just say i was an adult when 
The Sims 1 came out. Barely, but I was. And yeah, I've I've been a player since it was Sim City. That's what got me hooked. I was hooked on Sim City and then I found out they uh, created the people that live there. And you know, I was I was done. And I'd say a lifelong simmer except for I did take somewhat of a break. Um I bought a, the games but didn't use them as much as I did the first uh the first version. And this one. Sims 4 is the one I've used the most. Just because it's lasted for so long. Alright, so I've been rambling a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, it's really just me decorating right now and adding in, you know, the eating areas. Uh, this is the point where I realized, oh yeah, I wanted to put a fireplace in here. <laughs> and I really, I wanted something a little bit bigger and grander, but I just didn't like anything we had. So that ends up there. I move um, it up here, too, because I decided, you know what? The library needs a fireplace, too. Again, in my mind, this is an older building. This isn't, you know, a new modern build for the university. This is an old building. And they have fireplaces throughout, usually. Um, a lot of times, I think now they've covered a lot of them up or, you know, none of them work. But it's the same. These ones work. We can have cozy fires in our libraries. The books will not burn. So, um, outside, I played with this a little bit. I couldn't make up my mind. I do like how this ended up looking. Uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted the dormers or not. It was really what it was. But I decided those worked. I added some, uh, you know, modern touches like solar panels because, yes, solar panels should be on every flat surface that we have. That's my opinion. Um, mostly because they're not really harming anybody. They help, you know, reduce electric bills. I'm a big proponent of um, green design. For those who don't know, I do have a uh, bachelor's degree in interior design with a minor in architecture. Um, though that I use very loosely because it's mostly I just, I, I can build a house, but not a big one. Um, and then I started a master's, but never finished. But anyway, now I'm playing with some lighting. Um, lighting for me is a big thing. I think it just creates a look. So you'll see that a lot in my videos. If you're also, you know, if you're newer to my vids. Um, and now comes the part where I try to put in more university items because I realize this doesn't really scream university to me yet. <laughs> Kind of. I mean, it's, you know, got a library computer room, but it needed, you know, that university touch that, you know, says you're in Brychester because that's the one this is for. Um, That is where my Sim's going to school. So that's why I'm doing this area first. Um, I might go ahead and do um the other one. I just blanked on the name of it. I'm tired. I just got off work about an hour ago and went to record this and had mic issues that I played with for 40 minutes. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for, you know, to relax for the night. So bear with me on my memory. Um, I'm actually recording this the night before this goes up. I'm going to try to get stuff done quicker. Um, just so hopefully if there's any issues, I have a good amount of time to fix them instead of panicking like I need this done so anyway as I said still still working on just kind of the decor items um and you see I put in that uh art studio area which I got on my talking points and completely missed for you guys um what I loved about playing in this is that there's a lot of space. I There's a lot of space in the Sims builds, but not in a good way. Um, I just don't think, and a lot of it is because how they have to do their builds. It's nothing, you know, against the Sims team at all. Um, but it's like, this build doesn't have a lot 
of clutter in it. And I have, I mean, mine's mine's a higher end than just a basic computer. And it runs great on it. Oh. So, you know, I kind of wish they could do just a little bit more. I love that they have creators doing builds. Uh, so that's helpful. But, you know, it's what I like to do. So I'm excited about it. All right. So I'm going to take you guys kind of through a walkthrough on this and see what you guys think. Make sure to leave comments below. So this is your uh, kind of seating debate stage area. I'm going to attempt the camera movements. So I think I'm getting better. And, uh, and then into the computer slash chess room. I know it seems kind of weird, but it's the Sims. They don't care. They don't care that people might be gaming at the computer while they're trying to do a chess game. So. And then the uh, the eating slash homework area. I created this nice little study room upstairs, and the Sims hardly use it. Just saying. It's still pretty, and I like it. All right, and that was the music room. <laughs> and the gym and the pool area. And the bathroom down in the basement with showers. And then upstairs, we have our game room area. I put a cute little, like, uh, musician's area there just, you know, to add something. In my mind, that this is going to be kind of your student gathering area. The workroom, as I'll call it, because I'm not even sure what else to call it. Um, and then back through the gaming area so we can see the other side of it. And then over into the library. And I do really like how this turned out. It looks cozy, um, inviting. You come through here and you've got the windows to look out. So it's nice and bright, but still kind of cozy. I love the book nook pack for libraries because I can put books, you know, just in stacks places. So, all right, that's it. And if you like this build, please hit the like button on the video and leave a comment below. Um, also, subscribe. Let me know uh, what you guys think and what other builds you might want to see, maybe university or not. All right, you guys, have a great day. Bye now.